Greetings everyone, glad you can join me today. I thought I'd put together a quick video tutorial on how to use the mock-up in Photoshop. Uh, I've received quite a few messages from people asking how to use a mock-up, so I thought putting together a video with some tips and techniques would prove beneficial. Uh, so this is my attempt to do just that. Um, we're going to look at the file formats, the JPEG, the PNG with transparency file, and the PSD uh, Photoshop with smart object file. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to look at Photoshop alone, but you don't need Photoshop to use a mock-up. It all depends on the file source you're using. Um, this other imaging software, I'll include some information below. Uh, Canva is a great, it's a free program. You can upgrade for, with for a fee, but the free program offers some really great features. Uh, PicMonkey is another program. It used to be free. However, now you have to pay for it, but you can certainly check out the free trial version. So I'll include that information below. But just so you know, we're just going to look at Photoshop for this particular tutorial. Okay, so let's jump, jump right in. Let's close that. Um, so when I put a listing in my store, this is what it typically looks like. I'll always have um, your design here, and as well as I include the files that you can expect with the download. So in this case, it's the JPEG, the PNG file, and the PSD file. I just think it's always a great, uh, it's, it's just great to see you know what you're getting um, with the download. Okay, so we'll use this mock-up for this particular tutorial. So let's have a look at the JPEG JPEG file first. And what we let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so I'm going to go over and just grab my text tool. Uh, left click my mouse to get a text box and just type in anything at all. It's early morning here, so I'll just good morning. And I'll OK that. OK, so there's our text. We can position that anywhere we want. And we're good to go. Yep, so you can just text right over the JPEG file. So that's text. We'll look at uh, using an overlay image. Again, all my windows are open. I'm just dragging the image into my mock-up. So left click on the mouse, drag it in, close that, and position that where I like. That looks good. And yeah, so we're good to go. This is using a image with a transparent background. So it just shows up really nice on the white frame. So that that's another way we can use a mock-up. Again, I just dragged, oops, I just dragged it and placed it right in there. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. And we'll look at using a full image. Um, so you have an image, an 8x10 image, a 5x7, whatever the case may be. And you want to place your image into the frame. Okay, first I got to transform. Control T on my... keyboard and hold down my shift key so I don't lose those dimensions on my image. Okay, place it there. It looks good. And click OK. Yeah, so there you have it. There's your image on the JPEG mock-up. Um, one thing, oh, before we go, I want point of what's so great about Photoshop is the blending modes. Um, so you want to, if you're in Photoshop, you want to come up and click on your image. Make sure you get that layer selected. And then change your mode to multiply. And there you have it. Your image goes right into the background and you see all the shadows on the frame. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. Yeah, well, the shadows, they show up so really, really nice on the mock-up. 
but you have to have it in multiply mode otherwise I'll just go back to normal and you can see the difference so yeah you want to click that multiply okay so that's using a JPEG um, mock-up in Photoshop so text right on top you can use an overlay or your image and then if you can multiply that layer perfect okay we'll look at PNG file so a PNG file has its transparency in it so basically you're bringing in your image again I'm just going to grab my image left click drop it in my mock-up going to have to resize it transform control T hold my shift key and just get it to where I want it. There. A little bit bigger. Okay. And move it there. And that looks good. Okay, so you can use it as a much similar to a JPEG file. You can place it on top. But what's so great about the PNG file is you'll see these extra um, really clear cut lines with the with the picture frame but you need layers capability to do this um, so just come over to click on your image and drag that and put it below the mock-up file so now I'll put, okay let's go back so you can see so drag it down and you'll see what the changes so you now you see the details of the frame within the mock-up. So your image is coming through that transparency that was uh, created in the mock-up. You're not seeing the shadows per se, but you're getting that clean line with the image, with the picture frame. Okay. Oh, easy to use, just drag your image in and place it beneath the mock-up. But again, you need that layers capability to do that. Okay, so now let's look at the Photoshop file using Smart Objects. Uh, so when I create my files, I always like to, to keep it really clean and simple. Um, you'll have the background, your, the frame scene, and then I have a layer, and I always call it your design here, so you know where to click. So you want to double click, and this little image here says it's a Smart Object. You double click double left click again grab your image and left click hold down drag it right in I'm going to need to transform it you may not need to transform it all depends on your your size my images are so high resolution that I often have to transform and and typically it's only the first time um, when I use a mock-up, getting it in place. Okay, so I'll click OK. Next, I want to uh, hold Control S to save it. Control S. Okay, then close out the window, and now we're back into our Photoshop file, and you can see your image is now in the your design here layer smart object layer okay and the only the last thing you just want to make sure you're in multiply mode so you're getting those shadows otherwise it's going to be similar to this so yeah just check multiply and you're going to get those extra nice features with the shadows within the frame okay so there you have it using uh, Mockups in Photoshop, JPEG, PNG with transparency, and the Photoshop file using Smart Objects. Really great to use. Mockups are so nice to showcase your work in a more realistic setting. Yeah, great stuff. So that's that's using mockups. So I hope this little tutorial was helpful to you today. Um, if so, feel free to give me a thumbs up, feedback. Greatly appreciated as well. Um, yeah, but that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.